Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video, and today we are going to learn the UniNot system. I'm gonna put this in on the Fishing 101 section or the Fishing 101 playlist, and we're gonna tie the UniNot in different ways. And if you have to learn only one knot in your fishing system, this is the knot to learn. So let's start with a with a hook. Okay, so how you tie the uni knot onto a hook is quite easy. And I have a slightly different way of tying the uni knot. So if you haven't learned this yet, if you learn how I tie it, I can guarantee you that you would be able to tie it pretty much almost anywhere because I happened across this method just to make it easy for me. Okay, so first step is I take the tag end okay make a loop with the tag end and go around my pointer and my middle finger and then I take my other middle finger middle finger on my right hand put it through the loop and what happens there as you can see is that I have my thumb and my pointer or index finger on my right hand holding the tag and I have two fingers on my left my thumb and my index finger also able to help go through the loop faster okay so I do that about four times in this case so it's always at least four times okay so you snug that pull the tag end and this is the part where you lubricate this with water or saliva but when you're lubricating it also lubricate this part not just the knot itself and then you're gonna slowly slide that to the hook eye pull on the standing end pull on the tag end and that knot is secure all you have to do then is snip leave a little bit of a tag and that's your uni knot okay now if if you want a little bit of movement say you're using a bait fish and you want it to move around or have a bit more freedom what you need is a loop And with the uni knot, you can do that. Again, around four times at least. Okay, tighten, but don't snug. Pull it down to really close to the eye, right there. And then pull your tag when you pull your tag it tightens the whole knot and it becomes a loop all you have to do then is snip leave a little bit of tag just in case and there you have it. Now the, the very special thing about this is that while you're fighting the fish, it will pull. It will pull and close. Making it a very, very solid connection to your hook. Okay. Now for speed eyes, upturned or downturned eyes, you could also use a uni. We have an upturned eye hook here and how we tie the uni there is we pass through the eye first. If it's a spade head, you just lay it flat on to the shank right there. But since we have an eye, we're passing through the eye and then again, we make the uni. Make a loop like so, pass three or four times. Sorry, four, at least four times. Always. 
okay and then pull the standing end and there you have it the uni knot snell okay now this is not just for hooks swivels this is also for lines now this is the most common uni to uni that you will find okay so I've been using this cord to represent leader so let's have this black one to represent braid or monofilament okay so again go around like so four four times at least okay tighten that up but not super tight just make it a little snug and then do the same for the other side now this connection works for lines that have the same diameter or varying diameters this is one of the beauty of the uni knot system so as you can see there as soon as we form those two knots we can then lubricate everything and pull tight pull the tags tight as well and then we cut the tags you can cut these with just a tad of the tag left and that is a very very good and secure knot now there is another one which I will show you here now this was intended although believe it or not not practiced a lot but this was invented by or this was intended by Vic Dunaway as the knot not to join lines but for leaders okay so imagine this is your leader and this is your braid okay again black for braid or mainline monofilament and then white for your leader material now we double up okay we double up lay all those lines together and what you do is go around as usual okay and then we go at least four times okay and then you tighten that but don't tighten over tighten yet okay like so and then if this is thick monofilament what you need to do is actually go around only twice or three times at the very most it depends the 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 thicker the mono the less you can go around okay so like so okay now if you look carefully I have both strands of the doubled up braid inside that knot so be very careful when you're tying it okay and then you pull them together I'm pulling both strands here okay compress and then tighten first the braid okay and then the mono like so okay and then cut the tags so cut this one here you have two there and effectively also two on this side so this is the proper way of tying the uni knot for leaders now you could also just tie the uni knot the normal line joining uni to uni it's not as strong as this one though and this is how Vic actually ties the leader and this is how he invented it okay so this is something that actually a lot of people miss out on and so I just wanted to show that
Anyway, so that's it. Fishing 101, lesson number one. This is the uni knot system. All right, so if you are new here, please subscribe. There's a lot more videos like this in the channel, so uh, go ahead and look around. And if it helped you out, hook us up with a like and don't forget to subscribe. Very important that you also share this with your friends and fishing buddies so that, well, everyone knows and the more the merrier. Alright, so like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks so much for joining and I'll see you in the next one.